the Winter Hexagon plus Jupiter. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regas, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. Fellow stargazer Marlene Hidalgo will join us to help you find your way around the sky. Spring is right around the corner. Finally, because now when I go outside to stargaze, it's still freezing. James, you, you live in Florida. It's like 80 degrees all the time. It gets in the 60s sometimes. Anyway, even though spring is coming, I want us to look back at one humongous star pattern of winter. Yes, the winter hexagon, covering almost half the sky, incorporating six constellations and eight of the 20 brightest stars visible from Earth. The winter hexagon even has one addition, the planet Jupiter. So put on your parkas and let's show you the winter hexagon. Brr. Okay, we have our skies set for 9 p.m. looking southwest. Wow, that's a lot of bright stars in one area. A ring of sparkling multicolored jewels will shine down on you. Some call this the winter circle or Sirius curve, but we're going to walk you through the stars of the winter hexagon. That's right, Dean. The main guy who anchors the bottom of the hexagon is Orion the Hunter, easily recognized by the three stars that make his snazzy belt. Orion stands slightly tilted about halfway up in the southwestern sky. Marlene, take us in for a closer look. Orion's brightest stars are Betelgeuse, which is his orange-colored armpit star, and Rigel, his blue-hued left foot. Rigel is one of the bottom corners of the winter hexagon. The three belt stars are easy to find and can point you to two other corners of the hexagon. Connect the dots of the three stars and continue that line to the left you will run smack dab into the brightest star in the sky, Sirius. Sirius marks the nose of Orion's big dog, Canis Major. Can you see a dog in those stars? If you connect the belt stars and continue the line to the right, you will run into a bright orange star very similar to Betelgeuse. This is Aldebaran, the bullseye, of Taurus the bull that is. Taurus's face is a small V-shape of five stars with two long horns pointing up. So we have the bottom of the hexagon covered, Sirius, Rigel, and Aldebaran. The top part is a little trickier since bright Jupiter is also there this year. Let's bypass Jupiter for the moment to complete the hexagon. Up from Sirius, you'll find bright white Procyon. This is the brightest star in Canis Minor, the little dog. Ah, he's a cutie and really hard to imagine. But anyway, the next corner of the winter hexagon has two stars, twin stars as in the Gemini Twins. Their names are Pollux and Castor. The bright stars mark their heads and their feet come down toward Orion. Yikes, they're standing on his club. Well, next stop around the hexagon is brilliant Capella. This is the brightest star in Auriga the Charioteer. Why is he holding goats? Uh, it's a long story, but let's come down the other side of the hexagon and we get back to Rigel again. That's the winter hexagon. But what about Jupiter? It's even brighter than Sirius and right in the middle of things. This year, Jupiter is hanging out with the twins, but that's not always the case. Jupiter wanders from night to night across the background stars. It wanders really, really slowly, but over the course of a few months or a year, then you can really tell the difference. Last year, at the exact same date and time, the stars were in the exact same locations. Jupiter, however, was over in Taurus. Fast forward to this year and Jupiter is in Gemini. That's a big jump. Next year, it will be in Cancer the Crab. If those constellations sound especially familiar, that's because they are all zodiac constellations. Jupiter takes about 12 years to go around the sun, and so it spends about one year in each of the 12 zodiac constellations. So even in the warmer nights of spring, you can behold the bright stars of the winter hexagon. Sirius, Rigel, and Aldebaran along the bottom. Procyon, Pollux, Castor, and Capella along the top and bright old Jupiter hanging out at the Gemini twins' feet. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.